In the times of the Bible, the promised land of milk and honey was Judea and Samaria. And the greatest symbol of this promise was the vineyard. For centuries, these regions were covered with vibrant, fertile grapevines. But after the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, the Romans uprooted the vines and took them to Italy. For nearly 2,000 years, no vineyards existed on these mountains. But in the late 1990s, a few Jewish men came here with a goal to change that. Men like Yaakov Berg. 2,000 years ago, Israel is known like the best wine country in the ancient world. The Roman Caesars, the Greeks, they brought their best wine, not from Italy, not from French. They brought it from here, from Israel. But for 2,000 years, the land was desert. It was impossible to grow something on those lands. And actually, a lot of people tried, and they couldn't succeed. I was born in Russia, and I came to Israel when I was three years old. It was always my father's dream to touch the land, to grow something. You know, if you will ask my father, do you believe that your son will own a vineyard or a winery in Israel back then in Russia? I mean, he will cry or laugh, but for sure he's not going to believe to that. I remember when we started to plant the vineyards, everything, it was rock. We need to drill into the rock in order to plant the vines. Everybody says, all the export says, uh, it's, it's not going to, to work. Nothing will go here. I don't think it's something that we can really understand. It's not that we changed the land, it's not that we brought a new soil or something like that. The land really came back to herself. It's like a dead man that came back to life. The grapes Yaakov harvests to create his wines come from very special places. Elon Moray, where God made his promise to Abraham. The Mount of Blessing, where Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, and Shiloh, where the Ark of the Covenant rested. The harvesters who pick these grapes are neither Israeli nor Jewish. Each year, hundreds of Christian volunteers from around the world travel to Israel to prune the vines and harvest the grapes of Jewish farmers in Judea and Samaria at no cost to the farmers. The Bible promises three main things. First of all, that the Jewish people will come back to their homeland. Second, that the land will come back to us. And from the moment that we came back, it's become a heaven. The third thing, that many people really forgot, they don't see it. But the Bible talk about it many times, all over. That the entire world will come and will participate and will try to help. It's unbelievable. When I see it, I'm crying. The fact that we came back here, okay, but why? Somebody that lives so far away, thousands of thousands of kilometers from here, would like to know what's going on, would like to support, would like to be with us, that we will walk together, you know. I think this is the biggest miracle that God gave us in, I don't know, the last 20, 30 years. Everybody, that will come to Israel, touch the land and touch the people, it will change his life. Each one of us looking for, for something deeper than just the regular life. I believe and I feel and I know that in Israel, maybe it's the best place on earth to really feel it, to understand it. It's easier than all the rest of the world. To me, Israel, it's the best proof God exists and still acting in our world. I don't think you can find a better proof. I'm Yaakov Berg, and I am Israel.